today we'll be evaluating algebraic expressions. What is an algebraic expression? An algebraic expression is a mathematical phrase that can contain numbers, variables, and operations. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. An example would be x plus 2 and 6x squared minus 2. You'll notice that the expressions do not have equal signs or inequality signs. How do you evaluate an algebraic expression? To evaluate an algebraic expression, first, substitute the number in for the given variable, use parentheses around the numbers being substituted, and apply the order of operations to simplify the expression. Let's look at some examples. So remember, we're going to substitute, we're going to use parentheses, and then we're going to do, use our friend Jemdas. So 5x squared plus 9x when x is negative 2. So anytime we see x, we're going to write negative 2. Right, so we've substituted, we used our parentheses around the values we substituted, now we're going to use our gemdos. We don't have any groupings, but do we have an exponent? We do, right here. So 5 times negative 2 times negative 2 is a positive 4, plus 9 times negative 2. So now we're going to multiply, 5 times 4 is 20, plus 9 times negative 2 is negative 18, now we can add, and our answer is 2. Number 2, we have a, an absolute value. So anytime we see m, we're going to write negative 5. And we're going to put parentheses around it. So we're going to work with our grouping. We substitute, we use our parentheses, now we're going to do our gemdos, our grouping. So we have to get rid of this inside here first. We're going to do this exponent first within the grouping. Negative 5 times negative 5 is a positive 25. Now we're going to multiply within the grouping. So negative 30 plus 25 negative 9 times the absolute value of negative 5. So negative 9 times the absolute value of a negative number is a positive number. So negative 45. Number 3. Negative. Anytime we see A, we're going to write a 2. Anytime we see a B, we're going to write a negative 7. So we're going to look for groupings. We have none. How about an exponent? We do. So negative 2 to the third is 8. And then we have negative, we have minus a negative 7, which is really plus 7. And that would give me negative 1. Our last example is a fraction bar. So anytime we see G, we're going to put 3. Anytime we see 4, we're going to put H. So negative 8 times 3 plus 4 over the absolute value of negative 3 plus 5. So the fraction bar is a grouping, so we're going to simplify the numerator and then the denominator. So, uh, well, we're going to do it together. So eight, negative 8 times 3 is negative 24 plus 4 over... We have negative 3 plus 5, which is 2. Simplify the numerator. Negative 24 plus 4 is negative 20. And the absolute value of 2 is 2. And we can reduce that to negative 10.